we are uh, we are going to welcome the new owner of the Cleveland Browns, Jimmy Haslam, joins us. First of all, my uh, my congratulations to you, sir. And we go all over the country on this uh, this regional sports network. And I've got to tell you, uh, you are most welcome. It is refreshing to welcome you to Cleveland. Congratulations. Thanks, Bruce. Thanks for having us on. We're very excited. It was um, touching today to watch the press conference in, in many, uh, you are so eloquent. Um, you're, uh, the, the Holmgren situation you handled with such class, Mike is a class guy, and your decision chime in on uh, keeping him for the rest of the season in this transition period with Mr. Banner. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, the, uh, it's not only the right thing to do, it's a necessary thing to do. Mike's got a tremendous wealth of knowledge, and we want to take advantage of it and uh, help him help us through this very important transition time period. And we've been fielding calls uh, all afternoon, uh, and certainly you made the statement several weeks ago, uh, Jimmy, about the, uh, about the coach. And... Shermer does deserve the rest of this season, at least. Let's see what he can do. The last two weeks have been very encouraging. Yeah, absolutely. We played our best game on Sunday, and I think our young team found a way to win. They were strongest in the fourth quarter, and, you know, we're one and five, which isn't good, but we could easily be three and three. And, you know, candidly, if Joe doesn't make a bad personal decision, we might be because you see the impact he has on our team with his play on Sunday. Let me ask you this, because we've speculated you, uh, as the owner, will have the last word, of course. Mr. Banner is known as a negotiator, a salary cap guy. Are you going to consider getting a liaison football man in between you and Mr. Banner and uh, Heckert? Uh, you know, the plans are right now for Joe to be the CEO, which means everybody on a day-to-day -day basis will report to Joe. And uh, we'll obviously be heavily involved, and, um, you know, we'll see how things go. I think I've said and made very clear, and I want everybody in the organization to know and understand this is the only change we're making, and we only did it to precipitate a smooth transition, and we'll sit down and evaluate everybody at the end of this year, just like we will at the end of every year. How much of a thrill was this for you today with all the other owners in the NFL unanimously approving uh, the change in you taking over? You know, it was a thrill, and it's an honor for our family, and we're very much excited. But what I've told everybody, Bruce, it reminds me, the analogy back to our business world is the transaction is now done, and now the work lays ahead, and the work is to bring a winner to Cleveland. And we really won't be real excited, candidly, until we've done that. Jimmy, you obviously did your homework well in advance. Uh, when did you realize, because it's quite obvious, you understand the passion, uh, the loyalty of this Browns fan base. There are Browns backers. I get calls from California, Florida, New York. I I'm sure you're probably aware there's a Browns backers club in London, England, Mr. Haslam. Well, Bruce, it doesn't surprise me, but I, and I'd like to tell you that we did do a lot of homework uh, about the you know tenacity and ferocity of the Cleveland fans, if you will. And of course, I saw it when I came uh, with Pittsburgh. But I, I will quickly tell you, I had no idea uh, just the strength of the fans here and how vocal and how much they care. And you know, I've had my own personal examples. I walked in a downtown building the other day by myself. And walked up to the security guy to ask directions before I could say anything. He says, "Jimmy, when are we going to win?" <laughs> and I was in uh, I was in Las Vegas at a trucking meeting the other day, and um, the guy that's you know helping us load our bags on the plane says, "Hey, Jimmy, how you doing?" And I introduced myself. And he says, "Oh, I know you. I'm from Cleveland." So it's very re re refreshing, very rewarding, and like I said, it, it ups the ante even more for our family to bring a winner to these great fans. What prompted you to go into the dog pound and make your yourself visible and present as you've already done before you got the keys today well if you if you think back to our our other job our other company which is the truck stop business we spend a lot of time visiting truck stops i mean that's what until recently what i've done tuesday wednesday and thursday of every week and several weekends a year and we visit it to get to know our people and our employees but we also do it to talk with customers and so it's a 
you know, there's not a lot of places in the stadium where you can sit and visit with customers. And, of course, there are no more loyal fans than the guys and the ladies and gentlemen that sit in the dog pound. So it was a real thrill and something I think we'll do at least part of each exhibition game every year. I take it that you'll be introducing Mr. Banner at the press conference tomorrow morning? Yeah, we will. We'll uh, we'll make a few brief remarks, um, and then we'll uh, turn it over to Joe, let him make some remarks, and then the two of us will answer questions, and I'm, I'm sure most of the questions will want to be for Joe, and we're excited to uh, introduce him to the Cleveland community. Well, we'll carry that live here on Sports Time Ohio and then re-air it here on our show. Jimmy, can't thank you enough for uh, giving us this time before we leave the air here at 6 o'clock. Once again, sir, congratulations and go Browns! Hey, Bruce, thanks for having us on. Take care. Jimmy Haslam the third, the new owner of the Cleveland Browns. We'll